to Nache and Abiyan here on 2K Sports. From the attire to the food, the players' jerseys, tonight, a celebration of the Latin culture. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, former NBA players Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony with David Aldridge joining us courtside. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for him. And you can see the surge in his level of confidence lately. Just by looking at that true shooting percentage, it's been moving straight up in the past five games. I think he's still. So the New York starting five. Ananobi out there with Josh Hart. Then it's Jalen Brunson. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Hartenstein in at the five. And for the Spurs, Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. The guard pair are Jones and Vassell. And it's Champagny in at the three spot. So this is the first of two games, Greg, that these teams will play in a row, one after the other. Very tough. And, you know, Kevin, I find these little mini-series really interesting. Uh, you get to see how teams react to one another and see how they adjust, much like you do in the postseason. He's quickly gotten accustomed to the physicality of the NBA. Vassell doesn't let that contact bother his shot. Brunson against Jones. Shot from 12. Good on the jump shot. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Just, like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now, here's Vassell. Wembenyama passes to Jones. Traps in the tray. Oh, how about the vision by Wembenyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. Even Genzo against Vassell. They set the pick. Shot from 12. Brunson, no good. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. And when Benyama throws it down. Something Vassell is only improving at, recognizing these chances to drop an easy dime. Jones against Brunson. Hart kicks to Brunson. Clock at four. And the rejection by Rembenyama. A three for DiVincenzo. It's good from long range. Four three. The Spurs have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Jones against Brunson. A three from Wembenyama. DiVincenzo with the rebound. The Knicks have gone two for four from the field so far today. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd have to be. The fans are incredibly smart, 
loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. Now here's Jones. OG Ananobi unable to get his last shot to go. Hard against Jones. Sinks that one from the post. Jones has got five. Ideal way to start the game. Come out of the gate and knock down all but one of your first five shots. Here's Brunson. And he lays it straight in. And I like seeing Brunson drive inside. Good at just keeping the pressure on the defense. Jones against Brunson. Jones, the pass to Wembenyama. Now, Vassell. On the wing, Jones. Brunson covering. And the clock. And that one's good. Champagne. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Now the pass to Hartenstein. Back to Brunson. From the line. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Jones with it. He has five. Pass to Sohan. Here's Wembenyama. Does not find the basket. His second miss. He's now one for three. Brunson surveying the D. And there's the foul. It's on Trey Jones. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Here's Hart. Still without a basket. To the left side wing. Brunson kicks to DiVincenzo. Good! Another from three. And that last three now ties him for the franchise record for most in a season. You know he's looking for that next one. You talk about being locked in all year long. Next one sets the franchase record. What a season it's been for him. And few defenders to ever play in this league have the ability to slow Wimbenyama inside. Brunson finds DiVincenzo. Some nice passing by New York here. Ananobi passes to Brunson. A three-pointer, no good. And here's Wen Binyam. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. Here's Champagny. He's guarded by Ananobi. Pass to Vassell. A three-pointer off the mark. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Here's Hartenstein. He had 15 points last out. Here's Ananobi. San Antonio with the rebound. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Even with all that noise, when they had the ball, it never rattled them. Their offense was in tune like it was a home game. Four on the clock. From deep three-point land, on the basket by Jones. Jones has got eight points. And far from the best shot, but all that matters is the end result. Somehow he sinks it. Brunson against Jones. And stolen by Wembenyama. Here's the break. Zoham, the pass to Jones. Ren Benyama with it. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Yeah, that's too good a look to get them from behind the arc. 
Brunson against Jones. Brunson the pass to Hartenstein. Over when Benyama. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And a moment out of quickly to take a look at the offensive approach for the Spurs. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And also, guys, they're out-muscling their opponent. The points in the paint are piling up because of that aggressiveness. And the first one drops. And with Tim Duncan and David Robinson, Greg, the legendary Spurs big man of days gone by, does that, do you think, add pressure for Victor Wembanyama? Maybe a bit, but he also has the resources of the same great organization behind him, and that's what'll help. Collins checked in for Wembenyama. He's perfect from the line this time. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. He's looked practically unstoppable this quarter. The defense, yeah, well, they haven't had many answers for him. Tries the spin move. Took him no time at all on that one. Brunson's got 10. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Collins, a screen on DiVincenzo. Here's Vassell. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. The bench production was huge, no doubt. A testament to how well prepared this coaching staff is for these tough road games. Knicks trail by four. And here is DiVincenzo. Coming off a stellar performance against Toronto. Hartenstein passes to Ananope. Here's Hartenstein. Shot clock at six. Passes it to Hart. Here's Champagny. He's guarded by Ananobi. The Knicks have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Brunson against Jones. Now Hart, nothing on the board. Brunson, no good. Even Genzo against Vassell. Here's Sohan, coming off a stellar performance against Utah. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. San Antonio shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts. Right around 78%. That free throw, no good. And once the team to beat in the West, Greg San Antonio is trying to get back to that level. Well, they have a great organization, top to bottom. They're smart and battle tested. I believe these guys will find a way. And he sinks the second. Knicks trail by five. Outside, Bogdanovich. Burks on the wing. Baseline try. Not going to go that time. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Johnson. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. RJ at 6'5". Keldon Johnson plays bigger than his listed height, do you think? Yeah, Kev. Not only does he play bigger, but he's stronger than he looks and is willing to throw that weight around. He has shown himself capable of playing the three or even the small ball four if you need him. And that one falls for Johnson. 
No, look, he's a versatile weapon. Johnson is someone that wants to keep improving and shouldering more responsibilities on both ends of the floor. And New York making a change here. Robinson's checked in. He doesn't get the second one. When you think about the Spurs, Greg, it's hard to believe how long Greg Popovich has been at the helm, isn't it? Man, it's hard to imagine another team will have the stability at head coach that the Spurs have had. Not too many coaches last decades anymore. Here's McBride, and he also played really well in that win against the Raptors. Robinson goes in, and he uses the glass on the layup. And, and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's gonna take better rim protection than that if they're gonna climb out of this hole. Now, here's Burks. He has yet to score. Johnson with it. Robinson picks him up on the vast of the cell. It's Wesley on the wing. And the three off target. Knicks trail by six. Mark kicks to Burks. Outside, Bogdanovich. Sinks the triple. And you just have to admire that aggressive nature of Bogdanovich. He's just itching to pull the trigger as soon as the ball hits his hand. Now, here's Vassell. He definitely had a good game in their win against the Jazz. Pass to Hart. Some nice passing by New York here. Works for three. Johnson with the rebound. San Antonio leading by three. Here's Sohan. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. It's Robinson, top of the key. Dishes it to Bogdanovich. There's three pointers off the mark. San Antonio's gone four of eight on their three-point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside here in the first quarter. Here's Sohan. Hits it from three-point range. And now it's an eight-point Spurs lead. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Burks against Vassell. 29 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Robinson, and then Robinson slams it in. Oh, forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Johnson surveying the floor. There's 10 seconds left here in the first quarter. But Trey, that shot misses. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right. And we'll be back with you shortly. Coaches basketball fans, it's Latin night here on 2K Sports. And you might have noticed the custom jerseys worn by the players. And take a look at San Antonio's performance here. What do you think they've been doing or not doing? 
Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. They are playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Six-point game. They've got Collins. Johnson is up there with Victor Wembenyama. And it's Wesley in at the one. So that's who San Antonio starts the second with. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. free throw no good Greg there's been a scoring surge throughout the league is that due to poor defense or is it to the rising talent level you listen teams are still defending and, and the rules might have helped some there is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding but these guys are scoring from all over the court and, and doing things we've just never seen before now here is Robinson pass to Brunson takes the three good and the assist goes to Robinson Brunson's got 13 and man can Brunson get going in a hurry he's got his fingerprints all over this one Wesley the pass to Collins now Wesley he's looking for Wen Benyama and finds him count that is his fourth basket of the night just seven shots to get there and his ability to officially score, that's really helped him out in this one. Putting them ahead on the scoreboard. Brunson against Wesley. Now here's Brunson. Defense is right there. Rebounded by the Spurs. Victory eluded them last time in New York when they took on the Knicks. Yeah, and last time out, they sort of shot themselves in the foot with the foul trouble. That was what led to them having such an ugly score. They had to rely on their bench a lot in that game, and maybe it instilled some confidence in those guys. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Offensive rebounding is about hustle and determination. Huge putback, making a statement there. You know, great feed there by Jalen Brunson, a terrific facilitator. Wesley the pass to Wembenyama. It's hauled in by Achua. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Brunson kicks to Robinson. Back to Brunson. Popped up there for Robinson. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. And you see how Brunson's fine-tuned his playmaking ability. That pass on time and on point. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. Devin Vassell knows where his bread is buttered. He said, I want to excel at the defensive end. When I was at Florida State, you're not going to play if you don't play defense. That stuck with me. You can't control makes and misses, but you can control what you do on the defense end. Kevin? Oh, David, I like that mentality. Good for him. Hey, thanks for that story. Here's Wesley. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. And Benyama up top. Pass to Branham. And Benyama a screen. Five on the clock. Johnson for three. And the three ball is good. Johnson's got six. A point of emphasis for Johnson, knowing he needs to keep taking and making three. It's Robinson high post, working on Collins. Here's McBride. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. McBride's got it all tied up now for the Knicks. Brunson against Wesley. Outside Collins. Rembenyama passes to Collins. Robinson with the block. Here's McBride. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. The pass to Brunson. Shoots over Wesley. 
a miss that time would have put him up. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. Johnson for three. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. After failing to knock down anything from deep in the first quarter, he's got two to go here in the second. Here's McBride. Fires from deep. Collins grabs the miss. Spurs leading by three. Here's Branham. 17 points for him last game against Utah. Collins finds Wembenyama. Shoots over a Chua. It's good on the putback. And the Spurs lead by five. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Pass to Robinson. Pass to Brunson. Here's McBride. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. McBride. McBride's got a second bucket tonight. San Antonio's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Wesley the pass to Branham. Wesley with the ball. Still yet to score. Here's Wimbenyama. Six on the shot clock. A three. And no good. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Runs in the pass to Bogdanovich. It's Robinson high post. Brunson against Wesley to the middle. Here's a two up. And foul Sam on the shot. Wimbenyama. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Wimbenyama. It's going to be on Victor Wembenyama. All the officials are all over that one. The Knicks shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Yeah, over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Now on the court is your Start of the playoffs. Let's see how the West is stacking up. Look at San Antonio. It hasn't been a great season for them. We may see some changes in the offseason. He's off on the first. And no good on the second free throw. So he goes 0 for 2 there. San Antonio leading by 3. Now here's Vassell. With an average of around 19.5 points a game. His scoring has been a constant for them. Here's Sohan. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. All right, a chance to check out stats for DiVincenzo. He's been in good form here the last few weeks. Putting up about 18 points per, four rebounds, and three assists. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. He's someone you can rely on to bring it on a nightly basis. When they need a basket, he's the guy they turn to. First one falls for The Knicks making a switch here. McBride's checked in. Both good from the line that time. Knicks trail by five. On the wing, Ananobi. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, the defender all over. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. At the line for the Knicks. OG Ananobi taking two shots.
He misses the free throw. And still haven't hit a single free throw this quarter. And he's good on the second. San Antonio leading by four. On the wing, Johnson. Defended by Hart. Spurs working the ball around now. Jones for three. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. And great job from beyond the arc this quarter. They are now shooting the three at almost 60% for the game. When it comes to Trey Jones, Richard, what has impressed you most about him so far? Well, Kev, it's his deceptive versatility. He scores, he passes, he rebounds, he does everything at a solid rate. And most importantly, this man just plays so hard when he's out there. Here's Johnson after New York gets the three. Passes it to Sohan. And the Spurs scoring again. Unselfish to the core. Johnson looking to make plays for others. Here's McBride, defended by Jones. Here's Ananobi, and there it is for him. OG Ananobi. Here's Jones. He's got 13. Driving to the basket. It's rebounded by New York. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. Ananobi passes to McBride. DiVincenzo with it, inside. The pass to Achua. Just five to shoot. Hart, wide open, he fires. No good on the triple. San Antonio leading by four. Outside Jones. In close. It's good, now he's shooting six for seven. Oh, that's some fancy. Ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? Here's McBride. Eight points for him. Pass to on and open. DiVincenzo with it. Covered by Vassell. Launches it. A rebound by the Spurs. Johnson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Up top, Vassell. Defended by DiVincenzo. And the basket by Vassell. Vassell's got the lead up to eight now for San Antonio. Here's McBride. Defended by Jones. Hard against Johnson. Pass to Ananobi. And here is Hart. No scoring in this one. Shot from the wing. No good. He's off to a slow start. One for four so far. To the paint. Here's Johnson. And the slam dunk by Johnson. And creating a little separation here. Gaining some confidence. Yeah, yeah they rocked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. Now, here's a chew -up. He had 19 points in the win against Toronto. Now, here's Ananobi. Not a lot of room. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding his range. He's one for five. Here's Johnson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. What makes Johnson so tough is his upper body strength. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And his average at the line stands at about 79% right now, so solid numbers in that department. That free throw missing, and New York making a change here.
Good on the second free throw. Here's Brunson. 26 points for him last game against Toronto. And what opened things up for him was his passing. He was making so many plays that the D had to play off him. And if you try to block his shot, you risk getting posterized because he is good at using that height to his advantage. There's a good screen. Here's Jones. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. They trail by 11. 59 seconds left in the first half of basketball. And an OB in the corner. And he's good on the three ball. On an OB, he's got six. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Now Jones. He's got 17. Here's Sohan. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got his third assist on the night. Passes to Ananobi. And here's Brunson. And there's another one for the Knicks. And he has become deadly from that in-between area. Brunson as efficient on the midi as anybody. Here's the pass to Sohan. The dish to Johnson. Going inside. Some solid defense from Hart. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. And so it's San Antonio heading into the break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what did you see in the first half? Uh, we had ball movement. You know, we weren't in mud. The guys were in attack mode. Nobody held the ball. You know, you pass, catch, or shoot. And we did that a lot in the first half. And you had them swiveling, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Hey, everybody. Psst. I got a secret. We're approaching the playoffs, and we are starting the show with a breakdown of the Western Conference standings. When I look at San Antonio, they haven't played their best ball. It's an understatement. Looking a little lost and fluster right now. It's almost like they don't have any confidence in themselves. All right, getting back to this game now and the sensational play from Victor Wembenyama. His performance in the first half, Diesel approved. Plays physical, Diesel approved. Doing most of his damage right at the rim, of course, Diesel approved. Diesel approved defense. The praise doesn't come any higher than that. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. third quarter of basketball for you two quarters in the books you have to like what we've seen from Jones and the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on and it's a role we don't always see him in but he's done a great job tonight getting the rest of his team involved on the court for the Knicks Josh Hart out there with Ananobi then there's Dante DiVincenzo then it's Jalen Brunson and it's Hartenstein in at the five spot it's good, and the San Antonio OG lead has got down OG. now to just five on the bucket from Ananobi. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Brunson against Jones. Zoham, the pass to Jones. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. 
Ananobi kicks to Brunson. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. And defensively, if you are not on point, Brunson more than capable of finishing inside. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Knicks are one of the most efficient offensive teams in the league, and that, of course, starts with getting the right looks. Coach Tom Thibodeau says we know what the value shots are. If you don't have one, how can you help create one? Whether that's attacking the rim, screen off the ball, do things that can help us create the shots that have high value. Kevin? Yeah, a disciplined approach. David, thanks. Pass to Hartenstein. Watch the screen. Ananobi against Johnson. Here's Brunson. And the rejection by Wembenyama. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Here's Jones. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Jalen Brunson. First personal. The Spurs have made five of eight of the free throw attempts. At the line for San Antonio, Trey Jones. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. The Spurs making a switch here. Champagne's checked in. And so Jones nails both of them. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Vassell against DiVincenzo. Hart. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Assistant. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and fit. Jones, the pass to Sohan. High, arcing shot, and that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got four assists in the game. Brunson against Jones. A baseline J. DiVincenzo kicks to Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. Here's Wembenyama. 13 points in the game. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Wembenyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? Wow. <laughs> well, he's already seven foot four, Kevin. But, yes, what's amazing is that I still think he's grown, which is scary for the rest of the league. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles, really, since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations, but he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. First free throw is good. A, a generational talent. For Wimbenyama, the sky is the limit and the reality. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for New York. Good on both. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. And stolen by Wembenyama. On the wing, Jones. Brunson covering. Jones, the pass to Champagne. Good D by Ananobi. Nice contest. A high level of energy. 
That's how you play defense. Brunson kicks to Robinson. Some nice passing by New York here. And again for three. And he shattered the franchise single season high for three-pointers made. Getting them up and connecting with high volume. He's been a flamethrower all season long. To the right side. It's stolen. One-on-one -on -one here. And that one clearly in foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Richard, doesn't Dante DiVincenzo have infectious energy? The minute he hits the floor, he is playing his entire heart out. It's a jolt of energy for the team, and the fans feel it also. The first one falls. Achua, he's checked in for Robinson. And so DiVincenzo nails both of them. San Antonio leading by five. Jones with it. He's got 19. So am the pass to Wembenyama. From down in the low post, it goes. Wembenyama's got four points this quarter. It is going to be hard to get a hand to Wembenyama's shots on the inside. Great instincts and just too much length. New York calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's got 11. And the rejection by Wembenyama. San Antonio's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Jones against Brunson. Pass to Sohan. Passes it to Wembenyama. He takes it in. Eight for 15 with that made basket, but he's not satisfied yet. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now here's Brunson. He's got 19. A dunk by Achua. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Champagne passes to Wembenyama. And the shot goes in. Wembenyama has got 21. And I like when Wembenyama is aggressive on offense because defenses feel helpless to stop him. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. A floater. Wembenyama with the rebound. Wembenyama has got seven rebounds in the game. Over to the left wing. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. New York. With this break in the action, we can see the top passing teams in the league, courtesy of the 2K leaderboard. The Spurs second. And a team that shares the ball will create opportunities for the right player to score. Knicks trail by nine. Now here's Brunson. Averaging around 27 and a half points a game. One of the best in the league. Here's Champagne. He's guarded by Ananobi to the middle. And he takes the feed and stride and slams it home. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. And the pass to Ananobi. And here's Brunson outside. Connects from three-point range. Brunson's got five points now this quarter. Spurs leading by eight. Vassell, the pass to Wembenyama. From 13, Jones, no luck. Knicks have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Pass to Achua. 
Here's Brunson. He's got 22. And again, New York with the triple. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Here's Champagny leading by five. And Benyama. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Precious Achua. And the rookie turning up the intensity when Benyama absorbs the foul there on the shot. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep, just dropping triple after triple. He misses the free throw, and New York making a change here. McBride's checked in. And the second free throw, good. And a good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half. Doing a great job at the line. Pass to Ananobi. Back to DiVincenzo. Achua in the corner. And again, it's New York. Defense always had their eyes on him. And then he gives it away. Classic misdirection. Jones, the pass to Vassell. Passes it to Wembenyama. It's hauled in by Achua. Achua's got rebound number five here tonight. McBride passes to DiVincenzo. Shoots the three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. Yeah, the second half in stark contrast with the first. Coach must have gotten on them a little bit at halftime. Now, here's Vassell. Seven points in the game. Yep, that one goes. Vassell's got nine. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. The pass to DiVincenzo. Here's McBride, defended by Jones, and plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. Just a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last several months for Keldon Johnson. It's been surprising to me to see him take a little bit of a tumble lately in terms of what he's doing for them offensively. The points just haven't been there for him like they were a few months back. The defenses he's facing have adjusted to him, and he hasn't been able to make his own adjustment. He's off on the first. This has become a theme for these guys. Way too many missed chances at the line. The Spurs making a switch here. And he's good on the second. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Pass to Vassell. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Surprising he didn't bury that, but hey, it happens sometimes. For the tie... San Antonio with the rebound. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. There's a screen by Collins. Here's Jones. Falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Pass to Achua. Here's McBride. Taking a look now at some numbers for Jones. He's been a factor for them over the last month. And his playmaking ability, unquestioned. One of the top 15 assist men in our league. And back to his efficiency from three, as you said, he's top 10 in the league. Defenses are now trying to deny him the basketball, uh, but really to no avail.
And the first one at the line is good. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Catching up on the changes for New York, Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Achua. Bogdanovich comes in for OG Ananobi. And Alec Burks subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Spurs leading by three. Pass to West. And Mitchell Robinson is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Branham, the best of the cell. They're yeah, still struggling to find the bottom of the net from three-point range this half. They were much better in the first. And talking about the talented swingman, Devin Vassell, his offense has really improved of late. Well, it's clear he put in a lot of work into improving that part of his game, especially his three-point shot. And he's God. not done growing yet. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. Down low. Branham. Branham's got his first basket of the night. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. The pass to Hart. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Covered by Vassell. Robinson a screen on Johnson. Hart the pass to Robinson. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. That is a perfect placement of that dime. Just guided it right to him. San Antonio leading. It's Wesley on the wing. He has yet to score. Collins setting the pick for Johnson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Mitchell Robinson. You have to appreciate Johnson's effort there. He just stays with it and keeps coming. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Two shots. First free throw is good. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for the Knicks. And Johnson drops them both. Knicks trail by three. And here's Brunson. He's got 22. Now Burks. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Burks has got his first basket. I love how he establishes his post position inside before he converts. Rembenyama looking it over. And that one is off. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Here's Bogdanovich. And the rejection by Rambanyama. The Knicks making a switch here. Achua's checked in. Precious Achua. a screen from T. Brunson. Rebound San Antonio. Collins has got his fourth rebound in this one. Graham with the ball. It's Wembenyama at the elbow. Two on the clock and he sinks the layup. Wembenyama has got 11 points in the quarter. They had a monster game for Wendy with the matchup issues. Hopefully, can stop him when he's on. And so it's Victor Wembenyama making things happen for the Spurs. And the blocks just kept on coming for him. He's playing some fantastic D. 
Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page, woo. Three tense quarters behind us, one more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. We've got Devontae Green. Victor Wembenyama is out there with Collins. Then there's Keldon Johnson. And it's Branham in at the two spot. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Now here's Brunson. Burks on the wing. Back to Brunson. Pass to Robinson. New York moving the ball around. That one falls. And I like the commitment Assist. from Bogdanovich. Even when he gets knocked around, he stays focused on the rim. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Shake Milton, he's jacked in for Robinson. Checking in for the Knicks. Number 13, Shake Milton. Here's Brunson. Has to Burks. That won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. They've led by as many as 11 points. Now here's Graham. Outside Collins. Lock at six. Johnson, the pass to Wembenyama. Here's Branham. That drops nice speed that time from Wembenyama. And Benyama has got four assists now tonight. Bring him against Brunson. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Burks for three. Bogdanovich finds Burks. Over Wem Benyama. And the rejection by Wem Benyama. Collins, good. And it's a six-point Spurs lead. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Now, here's Milton. So here's Burks to the inside. Milton looking around. From 11 feet away, Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got his fifth rebound in this one. Branham, the pass to Graham. And Benyama sets a screen for Graham. They grab their own miss. And when Benyama throws it down. Yeah, you have to be aware of when Benyama on the boards. Really keep a body on him. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. making a switch here. So hands checked in. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, guys. I listened to Tom Thibodeau talking to his team during the break. Coach wants them to do a better job defending the perimeter. He said we're late on our rotations and they're getting great looks because of it. We gotta fight through it. We gotta take away the three. We're good, guys. Thanks, David.
San Antonio on defense. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. And then they continue to control the way. And Johnson with the stuff. And this is fun to see Johnson getting to his spots on the floor and just going to work. And here's Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. And with some of the new rooting interest for fans, some concern about potential hostility for the players when great things don't go their way. I mean, there's a lot of variety on the outcome of games and, and stat lines. And that's something the league has to take seriously, making sure the players are protected because the emotions can run rampant. And New York making a change here. McBride's checked in. Bogdanovich passes to Burks. Here's Sohan. Throws down the breakaway jam. Ooh, right there. Hunter Johnson turning on the Jets. He is so fun to watch on the open floor. Knicks trail by 12. Here's McBride. Passes it to Brunson. Burks in the corner. Here's McBride. Brunson kicks to Burks. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Spurs leading by 12. Graham, the pass to Johnson. Now, Wembenyama. Here's Sohan, and it's good, two points. Sohan's got the lead up to 14 now for the Spurs. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. Team five. Shooting for New York, Jalen Brunson at the line for two. And the first one drops. And one area where Brunson's improved is in the clutch. He's a monster in crunch time. Nice to have a player you can depend on in those key situations. That one falls, so he hits both of them. On offense, here are the Spurs. This run now up to 13-2. Jones, the best of Vassell. Here's the three. Rebounded by Hart. Uh, I'm going to say he hasn't found the same success here in the second half compared to what we saw from him in the first. Now the pass to Hart and shot. Pass to Brunson. Fires for three. Rebound San Antonio. Ren Benyama has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Jones against Brunson. Jones the pass to Sohan. Over Hart. Outside for Ren Benyama. Drills it from outside. Ren Benyama has got 29 rebounds. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Brunson. Pass to DiVincenzo. And the three ball is good. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Now here's Vassell. Back to Jones. Just four to shoot. Ben Benyama sets a screen for Jones. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And Anobi finds DiVincenzo. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Here are the Spurs with the ball. They're on a 16-5 run. Jones against Brunson. Ben Benyama passes to Vassell. 
Ben Benyama, a screen on and an open. And the basket by Vassell. Well, after an uneven first half, he's managed to right the ship and get things going. Jones against Brunson. Passes to Hartenstein. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. San Antonio with the ball. They're on an 18-7 run. Jones looking for an opening. Rem Benyama sets a screen for Jones. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. The pass to Hart. Brunson against Jones. Brunson kicks to Hart. Shoots from the elbow. Brunson no good. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Jones, the pass to Vassell. Out to the right wing. Here's Wimbenyama. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. He's upped his aggressiveness, wanting to get to the line more in doing just that. At the line for your Spurs, Wimbenyama. Two shots. And he makes the first. And both free throws good for Wembenyama. Next trail by 16. Now, DiVincenzo. Hart kicks to Brunson. Has to want an open. Or the three. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. DiVincenzo against Vassell. Wembenyama, a screen on DiVincenzo. The cell, no good. New York has gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. New York moving it around. There's the pick. On deep, Brunson. Oh, that's a nice read from Brunson out of the pick and roll. Spurs leading by 11. Jones with it. Pass to Champagny. Ren Benyama with it. From six feet. Gets the bucket and the foul. Bartenstein. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Robinson's checked in for the Knicks. Six personal foul. Second team foul. The line for San Antonio with Benyama. Here's Brunson. And an obvious screen on Jones. Brunson kicks to Robinson, passes it to on an open. Robinson down low. Mbenyama on him. Brunson draws the double. DiVincenzo passes to Hart. Offline with his three. And they've controlled the boards, and that's a big reason why they're controlling the lead. A sell against Hart. Mbenyama sets a screen for Vassell. Just five on the clock. And Wimbenyama throws it down. Watch out. Wimbenyama hammering that one home. Knicks trail by 16. Now here's DiVincenzo. Robinson a screen on Vassell. Six for six. He was yet to miss from the field. I like the intention. The focus finding a way to make it work inside. 
Brunson against Jones. And there's the pass to Wembenyama. Now, here's Vassell. Back to Wembenyama. And the shot is good. Wembenyama has got 40 points. Vassell has always had great instincts, but those have only improved the last few years. You can see it in his passing. Brunson. And he converts the layup. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? We've got 148 left to play here in the fourth. Jones, the pass to Wembenyama. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got his seventh assist in the game. Brunson against Jones. And here is Ananobi. Off target with his three. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for San Antonio. The blocking really turned things into their favor this time. Great timing, anticipation. They got the blocks, and that definitely changed the momentum of this game. And in terms of the season record, this is going to be their 18th win overall. And after dropping game one in this matchup, they managed to take the second of a three-game season series. No question, that's a morale booster. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Victor Wembenyama. And with the way he came out energized on the defensive end in particular, getting a hand on a lot of shots, that really got them rolling. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And both free throws, good for Brunson. And San Antonio has possession. Has to Wembenyama. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Yeah, love seeing Bogdanovich go to that floater. A versatile offensive player who does a good job of measuring that shot. Now here's Graham. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Wembenyama. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Here's DiVincenzo. Outside Bogdanovich. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. And so it's San Antonio. Easily taking this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Victor Wembenyama.